In this illustration, we will discuss the effect of capillary action in a barometer. We are given that a barometer is constructed with its tube having radius 1 mm and assume that the surface of mercury in the tube is spherical in shape. And if atmospheric pressure is 76 centimeter of mercury, it is asking what will be the height rise in the barometer tube. And we are given that the angle of contact of mercury with glass is 135 degree and here surface tension of mercury is 0.464 Newton per meter and density is also given to us. Here in solution, if we draw the figure of a barometer in which in a container, an inverted tube is placed which is dipped in mercury and due to the vacuum in the tube, mercury rises up and say it rises to a height h, which we are required to find and to analyze the effect of surface tension in this case, we consider two points. A and B above and below the mercury meniscus. And here, if we draw the enlarged view of the section, here we can see in this tube, this is the mercury meniscus. And here we can see if small r is the radius of curvature of this meniscus and capital R is the radius of the tube. Then here we can write as this angle will be 45 degree because the angle of contact is 135 degree. Here we can write the radius of curvature will be capital R times root 2 because capital R is R by root 2. Now in this situation here we can write the pressure at point B which is just below the mercury meniscus can be given as Pb will be equals to 2T by R if T is the surface tension of mercury and R is the radius of curvature. Then if we calculate at the bottom of tube, we can write pressure at the bottom of tube that is atmospheric pressure, bottom means we are talking about this point, we are considering as bottom of tube. So, in this situation the value of P atmosphere we can write as at point P pressure was 2 T by R, will add at a depth as the pressure, gauge pressure due to the weight of mercury column will be H rho G. Now, in this situation, if we numerically substitute the values over here, atmospheric pressure is 76 centimeter of mercury, which we can write 0 0.76 multiplied by 13,600 multiplied by G is equals to 2 T by R, which is 2 multiplied by 0 0.464 divided by the radius of curvature is R root 2 and the R value is given as 1 mm, so this is 10 to power minus 3 times root 2 plus this is H. Again, the mercury density is 13600 multiplied by G, which is 10. And if we simplify these values, the value of H we are getting is 0 0.76 minus 2 into 0 0.464 divided by this 136 root 2 and when we numerically simplify these values, it gives us 0 0.7552 meter which is 75.52 centimeter, that is the result of this problem.